four years have died within hours of each other. It's so weird when that, when that happens when you, when you stay with somebody for that long. They die of COVID-19, unfortunately. Uh, they say, uh, Cheryl, he went for 2020 now. And uh, his wife, Hi, good morning. It's Tuesday, the 28th of April, and we're sitting in Pryor, Oklahoma. I left the house uh, Sunday. I, I took this load last week on Thursday, Thursday night, Friday. Friday, I booked the load. Uh, I did hit it all the way over here to pick it up, but it pays pretty good, and it's going right back to Tucson, Arizona. So I'll go home take another couple weeks off. Um, I needed to make a little bit of money um, for the end of April to pay my insurance and whatnot through Mercer. So that way when I come back to work in May, I don't owe for April. And anyway, that's why I did that. Uh, Katie thought I was a little crazy for uh, deadheading all the way over here to get it. But uh, this load pays pretty good compared to other loads. I was just looking on the load board. They had a load out of Tucson, Arizona, going to Orlando, Florida, paying $1.15 a mile. This load here <laughs> will pay that round trip. So that's why I came and got it. Um, and plus fuel is cheap. I bought fuel in Las Cruces on Sunday for $1.14 a gallon. I bought fuel yesterday in Oklahoma City for $1.15 a gallon. That's with the Mercer discount. Oh, Teresa sent me a message. Say good morning. Um, I got my masks. We ordered some masks. So I got a fancy mask and everything. Uh, so I'm using all my precautions to uh, take care. But uh, here, I'll show you real quick what we're loading. Hang on. That's what we're getting, is that stuff right there. I've hauled this stuff before. So let me get loaded and uh, I'll talk to you in a bit. Four years have died within hours of each other. It's so weird when that, when that happens when you, when you stay with somebody for that long. They die of COVID-19, unfortunately. They say, uh, Cheryl, he went for 2020 now. And uh, his wife, Hey, hey, I'm, I'm on uh, Interstate 40. There's a cow truck. Uh, the doors came open, and there's about 10 cows on the interstate. Uh, hey, hey, what mile marker are you at right here? Oh, you're out there, Westbound. You got two cows in there on the. What, what mile marker are we at where the cows are at? I'm on 911. What mile marker? Uh, she, I don't know what. I'm one down here. Say again? But what what mile marker are we at? One one nine. One one nine. Yes, it, it's mile marker one one nine. No, no, it was a pickup truck with a cattle trailer on the back of it. There's cows in the street. There's one 
poor cow, he's dead, and just getting ready to be a big accident. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I I I actually. Oh man, it's it's terrible. Okay, we're in Sayer, Oklahoma. Um, you guys probably saw the situation with the cows. Uh, I was coming through Oklahoma City and just got on the west side of Oklahoma City there. And uh, a little stock trailer, pickup truck pulling a stock trailer, passed me and the doors to the trailer were open. And there was about 10 or 12, uh, not baby cows, but young cows in there. They looked like dairy cows. And uh, I honked the horn, I blew the horn, I tried everything to get him to stop. Um, I couldn't catch up with him because it was on a little incline. I just didn't have enough motor to get in front of him. But uh, unfortunately, uh, after he passed me, the, uh, the cows decided to walk out the trailer and uh, it turned into quite a mess. But, uh, from what I saw, they had to euthanize two cows. Um, the uh, police officer, state trooper, uh, had to euthanize two cows that were in the interstate. So it was pretty bad. Um, I have, me and Teresa saw a situation, it was a long time ago, about probably six, seven years ago. A uh, freak snowstorm went through Wyoming and um, caused a lot of uh, cows to get caught in the field and uh, frozen and uh, that was pretty traumatic and uh, th th and we're talking thousands of cows froze to death out in the field so uh, I don't remember what year it's about probably, probably about seven eight years ago oh anyway all right I stopped over here in Sayre to take a little break um, let's go outside. I'll show you what we got. We'll take a look at the trailer. I uh, Now you will see in the movie. I do have a crack in my windshield. I'm going to get that fixed when I get home. So that's why you haven't seen too much driving video. But let's go outside here. Oh. So we got about a little over five hours left on our, uh, our clock for today. I'm going to try to get over to New Mexico somewhere is what I'm shooting for. But that's what we ended up loading. We've got about 15,000 pounds. And you guys have seen me load this stuff before. You just uh, you throw the hooks up over and down. So, so this strap right here, this is the same strap. So you throw the hook up over, down, and then. I do it for all of the bundles. You can legally just throw one across the top. But I do not trust these things in the wind. Now, <laughs> trailer turned out pretty good. Looks pretty good. I come over here on the sun side. There's one thing I am not good at, and that is polishing wheels. Um, now the oil you see, I, I oiled the, uh, the lug nuts and the threads before I put the uh, lug nuts on. So that's kind of what you see, but uh, 
that's why it looks so messy but I am not good at polishing wheels I bought new mud flaps so you can see new mud flaps nice white mud flaps I did this back here I put my army plate back there so this was the little bracket I was talking about making right here I put that on somebody said about uh, buying new rubber things I thought about it but I didn't want to mess around trying to get them bolts out of there so uh, you can hear it buzzing so I tried to polish these here and like I said most of that oil you see or all that oil you see is from the lug nuts when I put them on but uh, that is definitely one thing I am not good at and that's polishing wheels with a buffer so maybe one day I'll stop and get them done but other than that trailer frame turned out pretty good everything else turned out pretty good I had to put the data plate on there so you can see that right there but uh, now the frame on the truck looks ugly compared to the trailer so now I'm have to I'll do that so I don't know but anyway let's uh I want to get as far as I can today because I want to get home tomorrow um, so I'm hoping to get the Vaughn about five and a half hours of Vaughn so if not we'll get to Santa Rosa or somewhere anyway I'll talk to you later thanks for watching